Hello, Lola. So, welcome back to my channel, guys. Ooh, child. <laughs> so, I'm here with baby Phoebe today. And I'm going to put her in the sleeper because although I love her in this cute little bubble romper, I love Phoebe in cuddly stuff. I'm hoping this fits. It's a... Oh, no. Oh, it's a zero to three. Three months. I thought that I had put... I forgot to put a different hanger on it. Um... So it's a zero to three month sleeper. And um, so yeah. I'm gonna put her on that and then um, I'm gonna change her diaper and hopefully give her a bottle. Um, I feel so good guys. Let me tell you guys what has happened with me. For about three to four days, I had um, my, a migraine episode and it kind of like have me like where I can't get as much done and it, it drives me insane and I think on top of everything I kind of worry about um, that I'm not getting stuff done. Um, it's not related to anything else other than the fact that I've always had migraines from you know time to time you know over the last you know few years or whatever um but <laughs> but I was I was um I got to work yesterday for a long time on um Ashby and I'm like starting to feel so good like I'm looking at her now and it's like she's smiling at me I'm like ooh but I don't want to rush it. I keep telling myself, don't rush it, don't rush it, don't rush it. So I'm feeling really good. She's coming into her color now. So it's just like, okay, okay, I got this, I got this. The thing is, is that um, I just, I just want to, I don't even know what color she's going to end up being. But I'm just hoping, I got this vision for her. And I'm just hoping that she reached the color that I want her to be. And, um, anyway, so that's that. But in other news, <laughs> like Tea Time Tuesday say, in other news, um, my granddaughter is getting ready to turn one years old. And so, um, we did pictures and it's just, it was so crazy. Um, my daughter brought it up, not me, about my babies. And so... Um, the photographer seen my babies. The well, first baby she saw was um, Finn. And she went crazy. And of course, you know, I had to give her disclosure. Okay, this is, you know, a customer baby. So, you know, um, can't touch this one or anything like that. But she was freaking out over him. But I did let her hold Phoebe. And when she held Phoebe, she was like, oh my God. She was like, this, this is it. Like... She took picture. She wanted to take pictures. She took pic a picture. She um did video, a little short video. This was just with her phone. But then she was like, I feel like I need to photograph them. It was so funny. She could not get get over it. So she just thought that they were so um lifelike and everything. And it was it was funny. She at first she was just like, This is freaky. Okay, this is freaky. This is very like um creepy it's, it's she's just like you know like she was kind of like shaking and stuff she's like i never seen or heard of anything like this before and i was surprised that she hadn't heard of them or seen anything like them so anyway but she did know about the stand-in babies because she said you know they use them for the photography but it was just it was just interesting but that's why i say sometimes when people say oh my god this is creepy i don't get offended they just mean that it's just too real to not be real so hey mama um yeah this 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 is my cuddle book and that's why I, I let her hold her like Phoebe is say I am the cuddle book of the nursery yes I am that's why I sit in the center <laughs> um so I'm gonna take her socks off and stuff <sighs> 
oh so i end up at the store apparently that's why i got this sleeper oh my gosh i picked up some more cute little things i gotta stop i gotta stop i've i've developed this bad shopping hot habit and um i've just picked up so many little cute things for um mostly for aspen but i did pick up a few things for abby but then um major you know of course then phoebe it was just like and then you know of course every time i buy something for the babies i feel like i need to buy something for my grandbaby and then gabby you know it's just like oh my gosh it's ridiculous but gabby just had got some stuff so i didn't see anything that i like oh yes she did end up getting something i was about to lie she did end up getting something i forgot she got this cute little shirt um it's real cute a little uh jean light looking shirt um kind of dressy a little bit but it'd be cute with like some jeans and her little shoes because i have a similar top and so we'll be wearing that alike so yeah so i i did <laughs> i was gonna say she didn't get nothing this time but then i would have been lying she got it's funny um because I, I don't know if you guys some of you guys may be new to my channel and may not remember but when i was painting um phoebe i ran into some some issues and stuff and so she really got some um lifelike looking little scars on her leg like you know one right there and like here and that's one reason why she definitely even if i didn't want to keep her she would stay but um i still love her so much like she um i learned so much with this baby when i was painting this baby it it, it really taught me a lot with you know fixing stuff um <laughs> what not to do and all that and stuff so i got a baby that i'm going to try again and see what happened with um trying to accomplish what i was trying to accomplish with phoebe without making the mistake so um we're gonna see how that goes um but that's down the line but i will share with you guys either way if it worked out if it didn't work out but yeah but i learned a lot a lot with her throughout the painting process um but the one thing that i love about her is i love you know her undertones and stuff like that i just i don't know i just i love phoebe so it doesn't matter you know and i i know you guys be like oh she's she's perfect and all that and stuff to 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 us and she's kind of perfect to me because i've seen a lot of silicone and i know you know what a real boo-boo baby looks like i've seen them and i've seen you know some of the most perfect but <sighs> that's my stankable oh my gosh i love this baby so let me take this stuff off of these stickers off off here. It says it has two ways zippers and fold over mittens. Why do they have to put stickers on it? We can see that clearly. We don't need you to put stickers on the clothes, but I guess. Then we'll complain that why didn't you tell us that if they didn't, I guess. So Ooh, I'm trying to look, I'm trying to do like I tell my kids clean up your mess as you go so this nursery don't get back a mess all right so let's get your diaper changed little one don't look at me like that <laughs> she like um mama <laughs> mama all right so I don't know why, but 
for some reason when I when I interact with her because of her skin complexion and stuff like that she's not the same skin complexion as my grandbaby but she just reminds me of her I think at one point my grandbaby was close to this color so I've got two diapers I was thinking about putting on this one because the outfit she got got flowers in it hopefully she can fit it otherwise I have a, a huggies for her look at your belly button and the thing about the um the the babies is the prototype um Noah and Nigel had different belly buttons um she has a whole different belly button than they did which was really cute um but I do like um Noah's belly button more but I I do I still I like this one but I was like how do I paint that I've never seen <laughs> I've never seen belly buttons like that so um but yeah um I realized that that she had a different belly button than um, Noah and Nigel. I have certain weird things that I like. Now some lint just just gather right on her little thigh. There you go. Um, I have a weird thing like there are certain little things that I really pay attention to with sculpts like the hands the feet um when I paint belly buttons are one of the things that I look at um ears um and of course the face but I do like a realistic you know body style and stuff like that um guys I'm so excited I'm so close to get in my um my my kit I'll be so glad when I'm done paying for him and he's shipped it's gonna be so freaking cool I hope that I'll be ready to paint him when he come it'll probably be a couple more weeks so I'm sure I'll be done with Ashby by then. Hopefully she'll be on the rooting table. Um, that's another thing I've been searching for more hair. And I've been I've ordered me some more. I did find some hair yesterday and I ordered some I got some the other day in the mail. So I'm just like trying to build up my supply of more hair because I have quite a bit of babies that I'm gonna have to root. Um, that I will be painting and um, yeah so I'm I'm just I'm just excited about it because when I get when I get um when I get Ashby done because I'm I'm actually about to be rooting Finn I haven't started him yet I was supposed to start him this week but of course it always seems that I end up starting him on the weekend so I'll start him on the weekend because I really you know Ashby is priority right now um and so I started um I'm going to start him on the weekend and then I'm going to when I start him I'll be like rooting him in the night and painting her during the day and then um because once once you start rooting you can't go back and paint because that hair just will just get all over you'll think you got it off of you and it'll be on you you gotta shower change clothes all that before you go playing with the silicone after you go to dealing with that mohair so i'm going to do that so just so i can um go ahead and you know get him done and then um but yeah Ashby when she get done painting I'll be so happy it's just that gauging it where to stop 
is the hard part with it because when they when you mat them you don't know what color they're gonna turn so oh my goodness look at y'all you do fit it mama <laughs> see she's just like so cuddly in sleepers i love her in sleepers look at you you want baba <laughs> Why we always say that? You want papa? Anyway, guys, look like I, I went well past my time. So, I'll just pop it in there just so you guys can see what she looked like having a bottle. But then I'm going to go. So, like, she would have a bottle. And that's the thing about the full the silicone with open mouth. You can just role play so cute with them. That's what I love about it. All right, guys, I must go. But this is my little sweet baby. As you guys can see her, say I am in my PJs. She got her lovey over there. Y'all know I always gotta put them in the baby, the the, the baby pose. But this girl can go in any pose. any pose but she will be in her thing oh my goodness i love her i love to just put her um next to my i mean not next to her, on my bed sometime and just l lay her spread out and then lay her on there and she'll just be like when i walk in it's like oh my god she looks so real like i love her i love all my babies now i'm so happy with my collection it's just crazy like it's i never thought i'd get to a point where it's like i can't even think of nobody to sell like usually it's always somebody that could be to go but i'm kind of i do have two that might go at one point but not right now but anyway i'll talk to you guys later just wanted to give you guys a video all right bye bye now Oh.